All right, well, elite athletes, weekend warriors, gym goers everywhere, they all use protein powder, or a lot of them do. So the question is, do we really need it? Mm -hmm. And our registered dietitian, Lisa Gretzelanik, with YourTastyLife.com, is here to answer the questions about protein powder. And we do have a lot of questions there about is. protein it's powder. It's a right. very common question. I get questions all the time from my clients. Do I need it? What kind should I buy? Right. And so this segment today, we're going to kind of go through some of those key questions and give you that tangible information. But let's start with assessing our protein needs. Yeah. So if I'm 175 pounds, or let's just take any person, male, female, a good rough ball estimate is about 80 grams of protein as what that person needs a day, a day. Okay. if they're not an elite athlete, but there's someone going to the gym, working out a couple days a week, um, 80 grams of protein. So what okay. does that look like from food? That's equivalent to about six ounces of meat. And okay. to give you an example, this is three ounces of meat. Right. Okay, and this chicken piece here is about an ounce. So kind of you can figure when they say like the palm of your hand is three ounces, that's mm -hmm. where that kind of comes from. So if you're eating two servings of meat a day. Wait, if this is three ounces and we need eight, we need how many? We need six. Let's just say oh, you're going okay. six. So you're having meat twice a day. You're okay. having meat twice a day, so okay. you're at six ounces. I got you. And you have a cup of Greek yogurt and you have a half a cup of cottage cheese. Okay. You're at 85 grams of protein. Oh, okay. So you can meet your needs through food, however, um, there is some convenience, you know, Nicole, you mentioned for your factor, it works out good for your what meal you planning and, you know, well, because if you're trying to build muscle too, right, right. Mm -hmm. then my own personal thing, then, then you stack up the calories if you're trying to get it from other food. Right. So, so the convenience. It yeah. can be very convenient. And so with what's in the food, we want to remember what, what is, what all these protein powders come from is food. Yeah. So the branch chain amino acids and all the things we hear about, you can get from food, but there are convenient powders. Now, so. when should you take the protein powder? What research shows is that 30 minute window post workout is a great time to take it. Okay. There's something in um, essential protein or um, amino acids that we get in uh, this type of protein that will help you strengthen your muscle, it helps with muscle damage, it helps with muscle recovery, it helps with exercise performance. So that 30 minutes post workout is a good time to take them. And when you take it, the other quick point is it's really great to take it with a source of carbohydrate. Uh -huh. So protein from a protein powder, and even when you're eating food, it gets into your muscle cells better okay. with a little protein source. So within 30 minutes uh, and a protein powder with, you've got strawberries or a, ban a like banana, a smoothie you can make a something. smoothie, or you might have right. a protein powder, a small okay. piece of fruit, it's gonna push that within protein in your muscle cells. Okay. So we have two main types. We have whey protein, right. and you see a lot of whey protein. What's whey protein? It's a milk type protein, okay. and you have whey protein isolate which is about 90% protein and that's what this one is mm -hmm. the benefit to a whey protein isolate is it's lactose free so okay. if you have any dairy issues particularly related to lactose you'll do better with that now whey protein concentrate is the other type very good protein as well but it has the lactose in it so some people are more sensitive to that but a very very good high quality protein. Then you move on and there's a ray, what's kind of hot in the market right now is these plant-based proteins. And my uh, favorite I like to use because it has a high percentage of what we call, again, these branch chain amino acids, which are those amino acids that research shows help with recovery and muscle strength. Okay. Pea protein has a great source of that. So there's different varieties of pea protein. When you're looking at any protein, just like with food, you want to make sure it doesn't have artificial sweeteners, right. yeah, there's some artificial fillers. flavors. Right. You don't want the junk in there. You yeah. want, this is, you know, simply just pea protein with some stevia leaf that's sweetened with. So that's what you're reading is ingredients. Looking at those again, ingredients. Again, just food, if it's a long yep. list. Think things. about it, it's coming from food, so we don't want those additives either. Right. Okay. Then another one you have is hemp protein. This is a plant-based protein as well. Hemp comes from hemp seed. So it's simply ground hemp seed. That's all that's in here. The thing I'll tell you with hemp seed is if you haven't tried it, it's a little bit grainier texture. And so hemp seed tended to do better when you blend it into a plant Can blend. Mm-hmm. And it smells, it's a little And so it's a now, bit strong are these smell. going to give you as much protein? I mean like how much is within So generally with a scoop of whey protein you're getting about twenty five grams of protein. Oh. That's coming from an animal, okay. you know, base source the milk. When you get to the plant proteins, it will be slightly less in right. that same That's serving. Right. For example, hemp seed is eleven grams of protein. Okay. So then you move on, you have these blends and this blend has pea protein, hemp seed protein, chia protein. Okay. So they put all of that in there, great tasting flavors, they mix well. So there's lots of good varieties. It's just looking at a clean and protein before, product. Like, I remember doing soy protein powders. Mm, a, I'm not a not, fan of those. There's, there's a lot of, um, and, and long story short, soy is typically genetically modified. Okay. And soy typically can be hard in some people's digestive tract. Okay. So these are much better absorbed. They get to the muscles and faster. Soy's not cool anymore. They're, yeah. yeah. Soy is, is kind of out. <laughs> 
<laughs> what I was doing protein yeah. powders. So you're going to get whey protein okay. or you're going to get a plant-based protein. That's kind of where we're at in the protein world nowadays. And there's varieties mm -hmm. within them, but just like food, look for clean products, mm -hmm. look at that ingredient do list, research. and do it after you work out. Within 30 minutes. Right. Lisa right. G, we've got a link Thank to her you. site from our site if you want more information. We'll be right back.